Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is James Steiner and welcome back to Shangui. Let's just jump right into it and I need to get this shit done because I'm going to Disneyland. Alright, let's get this going. I was lost in the mountains and dying of fatigue. This little girl rescued me. That Was that supposed to rhyme? Oh, let's just continue. Now she was going to lead the way to my destination. Was this divine reward? I couldn't recall doing anyone some great favor recently, but cared little. We embarked upon our trek. The girl skipped and twirled about, agile and graceful as a creature of the forest. Oh, God. They're alluding to the whole fox girl thing, okay? It's kind of blatantly obvious. Sometimes she could turn back to make sure I would... Sometimes she... Oh, I need to read words. Sometimes she would turn back to make sure I was still following her, spoke briefly, and then continued moving forward. Your eyes are still really, really creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be Ya. Yeah. Jia. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, Jia. Yeah. Jia yeah turned back and began to walk backwards. Huh. Okay, so she's a... Okay, so the main character, Han Hui, is a college student. So I'm assuming that Ya is high school, possibly? Sometimes we also have class. Ya gave a feeble shrug. She didn't seem to catch my words. When did her expression change? I missed it. Jia nodded her head. She seemed to understand this time. Though I wasn't completely sure, Jia appeared to be wearing a school uniform. <laughs> okay. Attendance is optional. I'm getting very, very suspicious of this. Uh, if it, is it a school of supernatural beings? Just spoke as she turned around and stepped forward. I recalled that she mentions living here. The purple ma- Oh, why? Oh, this is interesting. It's a, it's a link. It's a hyperlink. Uh, the purple mountain is not far from downtown. It's a wealthy area in this city. I'm curious. It opens another window. Now I know where the place is. It is located on the eastern side of Nanjing in Jiangsu Province, China. Oh, so I was right. This does play, take place in China. Okay. You guys probably can't see it, but yeah, it, it opened the page to Wikipedia. So just look up Purple Mountain, and the lit window literally popped up when I clicked the hyperlink. That's interesting. She said that the choice of attending school depended entirely on herself. I wondered if perhaps she was simply from a wealthy family. Pondering this, I glanced at her again. A purple dress clung tightly to her porcelain skin. She wore her hair tied back with orange hair lace, a feature that embodied her childlike innocence. Mm. I felt a little bit shy when making eye contact with her. Uh, I began to feel excited. Soon I could relive happy memories of lost childhood days. There were less trees. The dirt road was gradually being replaced with flagstones. I quickly... I, sorry, I quickened my pace. Jesus. I knew I must soldier on despite my weariness. The promise of reliving grand memories lay ahead. Let's... Oh. Okay, let's call that an episode right there. Okay, I was not expecting the hyperlink, but <clears throat> this is going to be a really short episode. I'm going to edit this, upload it, and then 
that's that. I'm still getting the very sneaky suspicion that there's going to be a lot of supernatural stuff coming very, very soon, but it might just prove me wrong. I don't know. So thank you all so much for watching. Click that like button, favorite it, share, comment, and do all that very fun stuff, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.